So welcome back again. Right now, in this new report, we are going to talk fast about the backend. So what we have already right now is a React frontend application that is connected to Azure Container Registry and it's public accessible. What are we going to add is the backend connected to Azure Container Registry and for now it will be accessible just for the demo purpose. And the next step that we are going to put this backend only accessible for the Azure Container Apps environment and we are going to add a .NET frontend application. Both the React and the .NET frontend uh, applications will be exposed to the internet, but the backend will only be exposed inside the Azure Container app environment. So here we are going to create the new container app, uh, app instance, but before that, let's uh, build our uh, backend and push it to Azure Container Registry. So it's a simple um, .NET API project and I'm going to uh, build the Docker file, uh, tag it and push it to Azure Container Registry. And like that, we are going to have a repository that will contain the solution and it will be added later. So here we have built our backend using the command docker build we have tagged and right now we are going to push it to our it's it's usual or the same as your container registry okay pushing if we go back right now we can see that inside our azure container registry we have the new repository that's it great so right now what are we going to do is we are going to create the backend as you contain an app for the backend it's the user steps what we are going to do is the same thing we choose our environment that we already have created we are going to choose the azure container registry and the new repository that we have created the latest tag by default and here the cpu memory we can change it later to uh, have one cpu and uh, right now we are going to use the ingress we are going to expose the the the, uh, the backend and for the port we are going to choose uh, 300 uh, or uh, 300 500 uh, 3000 3500 sorry and Let's wait for our deployment. Okay. Let's wait. Let's wait. It's loading. And here in container, we can see it's live. It's working right there. We we'll just wait a few seconds. It's the first startup. It only take few seconds and later we are going to use this backend with a react application for the front end and also with a dotnet mvc application so here our api is deployed let's go to see our endpoint api azure locations and that's it so this is the uh, json format that we want to use later with MVC project and also with the React application. So that's great. So here uh, was our backend in the same environment. So those are the two applications that we have created for now. And later we are going to add another one and we will add uh, another repository that will contain the front end application that will be hosted also uh, inside uh, this Azure Container App environment. So also we're going to uh, do some changes to the backend. So we, uh, it will be available only inside uh, the container environment and it will not be exposed from the external. Thank you.